It's late fall at Bald Point State Park, which means there's lots to see. We just have to see it all before the tide goes out. We are going to launch here at Tucker Lake and Bald Point State Park and paddle out Chairs Creek to Oklockney Bay. And we'll see what the wind's like if we want to cross the bay or not. But if we don't, we'll paddle back up Chairs Creek and check out the kayak campsite. Doug planned our trip around the tides in the Clockney Bay. So one thing about paddling Chairs Creek or any tidal creek is you just have to keep an eye on the tides. Low tide in this creek, you'll have a lot of exposed sandbars. If you go out near the bay, you'll get into the oyster bars. And so you do have to be aware of when the high and low tides are. And so it's best to paddle, you know, before or after the high tide, but not close to low tide. Is Doug stuck? Because you might be a little bit stranded at some point. Well, I like this time of year because we will probably see bald eagles. It's a good place for them. It is excellent for bird watching. We get a lot of migratory birds here. This morning I've already seen three bald eagles. We've got uh, juveniles and adults. We'll see some migratory birds. They're coming in pretty fast and maybe some ducks as well. We'll see some monarchs. We've been seeing a lot of monarchs down near the beach access at Bald Point down at the north end. We're at the tail end of the monarch migration season. In trees by the beach, we can see butterflies resting before the last leg of their journey to Mexico. Where there's abundant wildlife, there are healthy ecosystems. We'll see a pine forest that the state park is slowly recovering. Almost 4,000 acres of uh, interior uh, pine flatwoods. A lot of it is currently planted in pine plantations, so we're working on restoring that. This was once owned by a paper company, and so they are thinning it out restoring the prescribed burning regime here. So it's looking more and more like a natural forest and less like a planted pine forest. <music> Who knows what we'll see as far as marine life, maybe some fish that are jumping, uh, certainly mullet. It'd be nice if I caught some for you. They're so fast and it's so deep, they're out running the net almost every time. Where we see healthy marshes, we see fish. Catching much? We, we've been catching a lot of crowbacks. <laughs> we're working pretty good. Marshes and oyster reefs provide habitat to animals we like to eat. And of course, oysters are a habitat we like to eat. Whether the water's high or low, we can see how oyster reefs and salt marshes support life, from the crabs that will end up in these crab traps to these recently arrived migratory ducks. So we've got a bay shoreline on the Oklockney Bay, and we've got um, shoreline along the beach, which is actually Appalachie Bay pretty much uh, beachfront. The tide is starting to go out on this sandbar at the tip of Bald Point. It's time to head back. Well, this is the Chairs Creek campsite. We set it up about 12 years ago with the park staff. It's one of the few places that has any elevation here along the Chairs Creek. So it makes a great camp spot or a lunch stop or a rest stop. I always look forward to sharing with friends here. It's always fun, not just to look at the wildlife and everything, but just it's also kind of a, a friendship type experience to get, to get to share with friends. And once again, it's been fun to share an adventure with Doug, Georgia, and Mike. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.